Uh, Captain! We've got to dive before the storm gets worse! Not yet! I hear something. I've heard of these. I believe they were called giraffes. What? There's no way animals like this were ever real. There were lots of strange animals like this once upon a time. What are we supposed to call her? She let the former captain die for some stupid doll. Uh, Andrea, I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. You be good, all right? Andrea! It's unsightly. A girl with four stumps. I've got something different in my head. My brain, it doesn't work like other people's brains do. I've probably always been this way. Look, no one on the ship really hates you. They all had this pipe dream that Andrea would come to her senses and be captain again. Am I supposed to pity you? This is your fault, just like everything else. The term Super Piranha carries a fairly obvious implication that these descended from very different freshwater piranhas in small bodies of water on land. My mother says there never was any such thing as land. Of course there used to be more land. We came from land just like you did. I mean, we can't breathe underwater either. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine in the Navy, Lenora Hapes, commander of the Pristody. I've heard about your run-in with pirates. Not just any, but the Barracuda Gang, no less. These pirates are normally men with peg legs and cutlasses. They live like sea monsters ready to ambush ships like yours. They've given up their flesh. I'll keep this simple. Some very wealthy people have hired us to reserve the new land for them. If you do anything to soil this place, the second I see you piddle yourselves like frightened puppies, I will bury you in that exact spot and mark it with an X for future generations to find. We need something bigger than this to combat pirate scum. Stronger machines with stronger pilots. They don't bother with things like tranquilizer darts or capture goop. These are toys. Like mine and everyone else's here, your life belongs to Barracuda, the Pirate Queen. Your heart beats only for her now, and the sooner that sinks in, the sweeter your lives are gonna be. She was suffocating here, and we let that happen. She began drowning the same moment Andrea did. It just took longer. I don't think Minnow has any business being on this ship. Taking advantage of people like her, it's beneath you. Renora swore you wouldn't be involved in real fights. Good for her. I never promised any such thing. We sort of have our own language. Everything we say means something slightly different to us than it does to other people. That doesn't mean everything we say is wrong. I think Minnow should be allowed to do in life as she chooses. She's an adult. You're not stupid, Minnow. You can think your way out of anything. I'm always disconnected there. It feels like I'm watching some other person's arms and legs do what my brain tells them to. Don't bother with me. Sooner or later something bad will happen to you. I hate this stupid body. And my brain that doesn't work. You are not a burden. You are not a problem. You are not useless or a waste of space. Or whatever else people may say. You are a person. We caught her adrift one night. No idea where she's from. You really don't know anything about her? I don't think even she knows. She's nobody. I hear the way people talk about me. They'd say, she shouldn't have to make a decision like that on her own. Someone like her? She could so easily be taken advantage of. And I am so sick of being spoken of like I'm five years old. I don't think there's anything Andrea didn't want you to be able to try if it was your decision. Don't get sucked down. I love you. I don't have any special gifts. I'm just me. 